It's a little bit weird that you know, I'm pulling on, they're calling me Polo. Um, been used to the Giants for the last five years, but um, I'm very excited about the opportunity. Um, it's a tough decision, but uh, one that I'm at peace with. I think it's the best decision for myself and for my family. And uh, I can't wait to get stuck into the preseason and run out in round one, the MCG in front of hopefully 9,000 people. <laughs> It racked our brains quite quite often. Kelsey, my partner and I, um, we thought about it quite often, um, especially coming towards the end of the year. We knew that we had to really weigh up our options, um, whether we wanted to stay, uh, whether the chance to come back home and being around friends and family was was there. Um, and I think at the end of the day, I think that's what come through. Um, at the end of the day, I always wanted to come back and play in Victoria. I'm around my friends. I'm around my family. I can see them whenever I want. You know, I've got young sister, young brother who I'm super close with, and. You know, it's, I've been away from them for five years and, and I get to go home and see them whenever I want to. I can see my friends whenever I want to. And, and same as Kelsey as well, who we gets to see her family and friends whenever she wants, so I'm, I'm really excited about that. We only really narrowed, narrowed it down to, in all honesty, two teams and, and Colling was one we chose, obviously. Um, I think the exciting list that they have, they've got such a young list, uh, a lot of them around my age, um, with some great mix of um, experience with Scott Pendlebury, Dane Swan, guys like that who I can learn off and we can keep getting better through. To hear about you know playing in front of 90,000 at the MCG week in week out almost is something that was so exciting and something I, I couldn't pass up on. Um, it wasn't the sole reason, obviously, but um, it's one of the big reasons why I wanted to go there. And guys like Tay Adams, Jack, Jack Chris, Jordan Ngoi, a lot of the young guys that you know have sort of made a name for themselves in the last year um, really stood out this year. And, and they're young guys, you know, they're leading the way, and that's something I want to be a part of. And also the relationship I have with with Nathan Buckley, he coached me back in under 16s. He was just great. His professionalism, we won that kind of. The reason why we did was because of him. The way he he taught us to go about it, we got along super well with him. I think he's a little bit more relaxed then than what he would be now. Obviously being a senior coach in the AFL, but um, yeah, I can't wait to work with him again, and, and yeah, I just can't wait to get started. In one of my first games, I, um, I got to play on Scott Pendlebury. It was my best game up until that stage in my career, and I just remember he was playing on me, and, and uh, I don't know why, but he's told me where to run, and I ran, and I got the footy, so uh, yeah, I just followed him, and you know, I thanked him for it, um, but I think because we've got a lot of respect for each other, him and I. When I made my decision, he was one of the first person I'd spoke to, and he's been great for me already, and uh, I can't wait to play under him and learn so much off him. And I think, hopefully with me being there, I can take a little bit of pressure off him, and he cops a tag week in, week out. He's a spiritual leader, he's the best player at the footy club, so hopefully I can take that pressure away from him, and, and the other mids can too as well. People talk about loyal fans and loyal members. Um, I just can't wait to meet them. and I can't wait to you know, get their respect from day one because um, that's what I'm all about. And I'm going to bring hard work and, and dedication to the team. And um, hopefully, that, like I said before, they can push us up the ladder and, and uh, yeah, I can be there round one and playing in front of 90,000 people. <laughs>